Hey everybody, I'm Lonnie Quinn. Well, the high temperature for your Thursday was 45, the low was 32. So you're, you know, you're six and five degrees above average in both categories. The record of 67, wow, set in 1989, nowhere close to that. And the record low, two below zero, set in 1920. Didn't touch that one as well. Now, what's going to happen? The winds will shift, okay, as you sleep. And by 5.30 in the morning with a northwest wind, basically everybody is down to the freezing mark or below. I know you see some 34s here along the Jersey Shore and out around Montauk, but even at 34 degrees, that can sustain frozen precipitation at the surface. And then as you get into the afternoon, the temperatures are doing nothing but go down. I mean, look, you're 8, an 8-degree eight reading at 5 o'clock on Friday in Liberty, 22 for New York City. Everybody uh, way below the freezing mark. So what do you expect? Raining out there as of your nighttime hours north of New York City, but it's going to push into the city and then it changes to snow sometime after 2 a.m. It clears the east end by about 10 a.m. So this is a fast mover. It's not going to put too, too much snow down. A coating to two inches, I think, is a good general rule, but there could be some three inch readings or more possible east and north of the city. Checking in on a couple of the models, here's your North American mesoscale. Anywhere from a trace to, you know, okay, about two inches. There's your trace to two. But what if you see this dark blue color, all right, north of our area? That's the three to six inch range. I just need to keep our northern communities under at least the, you know, the, sort of that blanket of possibility that that could drop a little further to the south and clip communities north of the city and east of the city as well. Taking a look at the European, uh, there are numbers coming in from a trace up to a little bit over an inch. So I think a trace to two inches for the bulk of the area with some spots seeing three inches or more north and east. Vortex radar and satellite. Well, rain for most folks, a couple of snowflakes and pieces of, you know, ice pellets mixed in. Bigger picture will show you we're going to watch this precipitation around West Virginia move into our area. Here's how it plays out. 11 p.m., you're looking at rain, but it turns over to snow and sort of icing as it pushes through the area. This is 5 a.m., and then it clears the area by about 9 or 10 in the morning. As far as your Sunday, Sunday looks to be the reverse, starting off as rain. Or excuse me, starting off as snow, but then this rain is going to overwhelm the area. But places north and west, they could actually see a fair amount amount of snow. Look at this. This model is saying Monticello sees 6.3 inches. Everybody else, uh, very small amounts on the Sunday event. Numbers across the board. 31 on Friday, 29 on Saturday. Saturday, the better looking day. Sunday, it's milder, getting up to 42, but you do go from that snow to rain. And Monday, Tuesday, temperatures in the upper 30s.